guys, my name is Eve Horn. What the hell is this? Ooh. Let's go up to preferences. And first of all as well, this looks completely different to the preferences in Logic. The way it's kind of laid out is, is very different and the wording. At the top here you've got look and feel. And this is basically explaining the look and feel of the actual interface itself how you want it to to act when you're using it you can see here it's quite straightforward most of it the language that you want it to use um how you want to use your your kind of cursor and how much you want it to zoom in or out and then you've got track and clip colors so another thing that ableton does is they have clips and you can color code each clip to match the track this you can choose here and if say for instance where it says default track color if i click on that you'll see a list of all these beautiful rainbow of colors so you can choose if you want to have a default track color uh, down here is the, the theme for the actual interface itself at the minute it's on light so mid light is the default color that it will come in uh, i've just played around with some of these dark which is quite moody and nice quite like it the darker it goes oh see this is good <laughs> like it um okay what should we do for the sake of this so let's say uh, mid dark yeah no let's go light yeah light for now then here you've got the next uh, bit down is your audio is is pretty much the same wording in logic so you'll have your the type of driver which will be your core audio your inputs and output devices and then you can configure them there your sample rate so yeah all of this seems pretty much the same in terms of your buffer size latency it's just laid out in a different way um, and then you've got some test tone frequency stuff down there if you want to test inputs the next one down is link midi so link is something that I've used before in uh, in Machina where you can link different uh, sessions which I'll come back to later because that's a whole nother thing uh, and that yeah you can turn that on or off and then down here again you can choose your MIDI controllers here and then the inputs and outputs of those the file folder section is where your projects or <laughs> sets see <laughs> your sets um will we'll save i guess i can say projects as well but i need to get used to the terminology so yeah that's you would come in here and choose where you would like them to save if you've got an external hard drive and you want everything to save to that you can change it uh, in the file uh, folder section of preferences um underneath that is the library and here it says collect files on export so yeah that will always put them in a certain place that you've chosen or or not uh, you can choose that here so always never or ask and then the locations of your folders and stuff you can change so your plugins um this is where say for instance you you have any uh, third party plugins i would come here and then press the rescan button here you would make sure that the vst2 plugin system folder is on and your vst3 plugin system folder is on so that um, when you want to look for sounds and stuff you have the options of audio units or in, um, VST instruments and down here you've got your plugin windows and you would obviously have all of them on so that you can well you don't I would but you don't have to but you have the choice here to have them on or off here this section below is record warp and launch so the record section very similar to logic kind of i'm used to so arm okay another new word i've learned is arming so you arm arm your track so that would in logic be record ready you'd have your tracks record ready so in in ableton you would arm your tracks and so warp is something else that i will come into later on as i'm learning because i can't even fully understand it myself yet so <laughs> bear with me um so yeah this will be just you know how you choose to warp so short samples long samples unwarp one shot you can tell i have no idea what is going on here i'll figure it out i'll figure it out don't worry 
default warp mode, beats, tones, textures. This is deep, this is intense. Okay, and create files on clip edges. Create fades, sorry, on clip edges. Oh, okay, that's good. So um, you can basically, that allows you to automatically have fades on the edges of clips, uh, which is great. Launch, uh, default launch mode. So launch, I'm assuming is play. Uh, select on launch, yeah, this will be play. So if you want it to trigger specific things, um, and then you've got your tap tempo, which is on. I understand that. <laughs> Licenses and maintenance, just down below is where you would authorize uh, your apes and license and so on and so forth, any updates and stuff in here. So yeah, that's preferences. Already learned some new stuff. What the hell is that? Oh.